Hi, this is Sonia with Artsy Solutions, and today I want to show you how to do a collage sheet. And um, it's basically going to be a collage sheet of my sons, and because I'm gonna make some tags out of them, and I'm gonna turn them from color into like a sepia, back in the day vintage kind of look tone. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm operating on a Windows 10 computer right now, so and the Photoshop is. Um, Photoshop CC uh, this version is 2019 it hasn't been updated so you want to start with file uh, new and you want to choose print for your option and it automatically defaults to the eight and a half by 11 inch orientation portrait we're gonna leave it there resolution 300 color mode RGB color 8-bit background contents white and we're going to click create okay so basically what I'm going to do I'm going to open up multiple files actually there's two different ways that I'm going to show you how to do this the first way I'm going to scan a photo so file import WIA support and then choose where you want your file to go so I've already got my file chosen so I'm going to click start and I'm using my Canon scanner and so I'm going to hit preview and it's just basically going to preview um, show me what it's getting ready to scan and this is an older picture of my oldest son so scan and the color of it isn't very good quality, so I'm gonna probably fix it up right quick before I um, add it to the collage. So, yeah, the photo's not very good. I'm gonna crop it first. Okay, and then anytime you scan an image, it's probably best to look at the resolution and this one currently it says 150 pixels per inch I want to change that to 300 pixels per inch that way it increases it makes the picture look better and bigger without looking all foggy when it gets bigger instead of you know blurry looking so click OK and it's going to make it go big so I'm just going to backspace uh, not backspace but I want to zoom back out so we're going to go to the filter camera raw filter so filter camera raw filter and there are a whole lot of different blending options that you can choose but what i'm going to do first is um in the color profile i want to go over down here where it says days and just kind of slide your um glider or whatever that thing is their handle slide your handle over to where you want it and then clarity you're going to do the exact same thing you're going to adjust it to your liking contrast all right increase it a little bit like by 16 percent and then we're going to come over here to detail we're going to sharpen it the amount we're going to sharpen it to about eight percent or eight um, and then noise reduction luminance we'll bring that over to about five luminance contrast about five color uh, five so I'm gonna click OK and I'm going to save this file as let's see and instead of it being a a BMP file I want to save it as JPEG so save click OK and I'm gonna unclick that um, unlock the background layer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control C or copy 
or you can always go up to the um, to the edit and click copy but it still control C or command C on the Mac and then I'm going to come over here to the untitled document and I'm gonna hit control V which is paste so file or edit uh, control or paste control V or command V so I'm going to edit this again I'm gonna go back down to camera off filter and for the profile I'm going to hit browse and there are different options that it provides it has your like favorites basic and it gives you options artistic and then you can kind of click on different looks I'll just go with this vintage 03. Let me um, okay. So basically, what that's doing, it's really taking out a lot of the color, almost to where it's black and white. So I'm going to leave it at Vintage 03 at 168. I'm going to click OK. So that's black and white so far. And I'm just going to add. I left clicked and I want to do a stroke. And the way you can you can also go to the layers menu at the top layer style and stroke but the quickest way to do it is just use that little um, this little FX so for a stroke I want black and I want the position let me reduce it to like three pixels position outside blend mode normal Opacity 100%. Color. I'm going to go all the way to black, which is all zeros, which is one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Click OK. And there's one picture, but I'm going to decrease the size. So I'm going to hit Control T, or you can go to Edit. Um, transform. free transform yeah edit free transform which is control T on a PC or command T on a Mac and you're gonna see these little handles so you can adjust you want to click left click the handle and drag it to the size you like and you can turn it or however you want to do it and I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn it And then I'm going to rasterize the layer, so I'm going to right click this layer. And for the blending option, choose rasterize layer. That way it maintains the stroke. And then I'm going to add Photoshop typically comes with a, um, a shadow. Hold on it, but I have one. Oh, that'll work I have a different shadow that I purchased that I might use I think I'll use that one and then I'm just going to rasterize this layer again so the shadow stays there I'm just going to name this layer Don and crib that's my son and his crib <laughs> Okay, so we're going to come back to the original photo and we're going to exit out of there. Do I want to save the Adobe Photoshop document? No. Okay, so then I have another file that I want to scan. 
for a feather that I want to scan. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to it. So file. And we want to import WIA support. And you're going to choose your um, where you want it to go. And I've already got my folder selected of where I want the image to go when it's finished scanning. So start. And I'm using my Canon. Click OK. And I want to preview. I'll, I like to always preview my scans just to make sure that it's covering the right amount of, um, of the photo. And it is, so I'm going to click scan. Okay, and then I'm going to crop this image. You always want to crop before you do any kind of um, filters and adjustments. And you want to always change your image size first. So image, image size, resolution instead of it being 300 I mean 150 we're going to change it to 300 pixels per inch and then I'm gonna come back up to filter and then camera raw filter and I'm going to adjust this one so dehaze clarity Dehaze is plus 30, Clarity is plus 17, Contrast plus 21, and then we're going to come over here to the details, and then under Sharpening, the amount, I want to do 13, and then under Noise Reduction for Luminance, I just need 11, Luminance Contrast 10, 11, and I'm going to click OK. And there he is. That's my middle son when he was this little baby. <laughs> and I'm going to save this file. Let's see. This was, I think, 19, 2000. No, 1997. 1997. And instead of a BMP, I want it JPG, JPEG. Then I'm going to unlock this layer, control C or copy, come back over here, control V, paste, control T, I'm going to resize it, I'm going to name this layer, Dre 2000, uh, two, uh, 1997, and then I'm going to go back to the filter, camera roll. Um, undo. Okay, filter. Camera filter. Then we're going to go to profile, browse, vintage. So vintage number three, and I'm going to adjust the color. To 149, and I'm gonna click okay. And then I'm just going to import some photos I've already scanned enough but now I'm going to import some photos that I already have so file open and I'm just going to click on several different photos of my boys when they were younger I'm just randomly um, finding some and these are all of different ages that they were in. Uh, 
I'm just waiting on these to finish loading up. And I'm just gonna copy and paste Control C. I wanna come back over, cause I've already made a collage out of some of them, but I already cut those out. Control T. I'm just gonna decrease this size. And then I'm gonna click on another one. Control C. Control Z. And then I'm gonna click um, Filter Camera. And it typically, it takes on whatever characteristics of your last one. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Filter Camera. So I'm just gonna start adding photos and adding the camera raw blending option on there. Control C, Control V, Control T, I'm gonna adjust it. I'm gonna put the filter on it. And you can name your layers, but I'm just gonna, I can tell which layer it is just by looking at it. <laughs> Let me see. Control C, Control V. And you can still add a shadow to it, to each one. And then I'm just gonna exit out of the pictures as I use them. Control C, Control V, Control T. Filter, camera, filter. And I'm gonna add a backdrop. So basically all I'm doing is I'm, up, I'm clicking on the file that I'm on, unlocking the layer, and then Control C or copy, which is edit, copy. And then I'm coming back to the page that I'm making the collage on. Hit Control V to paste. Control T if it's too big of a picture. Oops. Hold on. Control T. So let's try this again. And I'm also do Control Zero. So you can see exactly where your picture is. Enter and then I'm hit command uh, control zero again and it zooms it. One will zoom it out and the other one will zoom it in. And I'm going to move this layer down some. To get it beneath where I want it at. Control T. And turn it at an angle. Filter, camera. Control C. Control V. Control T. Control Zero.
filter, camera raw. Control C. Control V. I'm gonna slide it down, which makes it good behind some of the other pictures. Control T. Filter, camera off, filter. Control C. Control V, Control T. Filter, camera. Control C, Control V, Control T, Control Zero. Filter, camera. Okay, so I'm just going to move some of these photos around. And I'll just, um, pop in like a background Okay, so I'm clicking on the background layer. I'm going to unlock this layer and I'm just going to give it the color like a light blue. So I'll go over to the color picker. I choose like a light blue, click OK. And in order for it to show, hit, hit, uh, hit Alt-Delete. And I want to have it like a a vintage kind of look so you can come over to your styles and if your styles window isn't open then go to window and then make sure that styles is checked and Photoshop has automatically has styles on here but um, I have some vintage styles so I'm going to use one of those So the background has that sepia kind of look, vintage paper style. And I'm going to rasterize this layer. So right click, rasterize layer. And then I'm just going to merge. I'm going to click from the bottom all the way up to the top of all those photos. I highlighted all those photos. And I'm going to right click. And I want to use the blending option, merge, merge layers. So all of those become one layer. Okay. And then under layers, where it says normal, there's a drop down menu. And so you can just click on, click on it and it can make your photos blend 
as like just one color, you know, or one set of colors. You know, you can change it to however you like it. You can make it overlay, you can vivid light, soft light, different hue, saturation color, luminosity. I think I like luminosity simply because it, it has that black and white look and it takes on the color of the background. So I think that's what I'll use. So I created a new layer and the way to do that is to either click on this little icon down here that looks like a piece of paper or you can go to file, layer, new, layer, shift control in. Okay. And then we're gonna come over here to the color picker tool and just choose a color. And then whatever color that is, we're gonna say Alt Delete or click Alt Delete. And then you can put like a, a color over top of it, a style over top of it. And I think that's what I'll do. So I'm gonna rasterize that layer. And then I'm gonna go I think I'll do overlay or darken, multiply, color burn. Wow. There's so many possibilities. I really like that color dodge. And if you don't want it so pronounced, you can decrease the opacity of that. But this really gives it that vintage kind of look. Uh, it kind of blends in. I like that. And I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm going to file, save as, and I'm just going to call this family, I can spell family collage. And I'll leave that as a Photoshop file. And I'm going to save it as JPEG file. And that's it. So if you want to print, um, let's find your file. That's what we call this. Family collage. Family Collage JPEG, open, and I'm just going to go File, Print, and in Photoshop um, with RGB, oh, hold on, cancel. Before I print, I want to make sure it's in gamut, so I'm going to go to View, Gamut Warning. So if you see any gray out areas, then that means it's out of gamut. But to fix that, you can go over to um, edit, no image, mode, CMYK color, so click OK. Then we're going to go back to image mode. We're going to put it back to RGB. And it automatically sets it to your printer's most of the American printers uh, color settings so now we can print proceed And it's printing out and I'm just going to make some tags out of these and here's the printed out collage sheet I'm satisfied with it it just it has that vintage back in the day kind of look to it so I'm just going to cut these and make some tags to go inside um, there's a little family uh, my little stars album that has my starring my sons so um, 
yeah, I'll just make some tags out of these. So I hope that this was um, helpful. I hope you liked this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and follow, and I'll see you next video.